Well, as we now know, it finished here, Norwich City 2, Blackburn Rovers 2, in a game that was something of a sideshow. I'm joined now by freelance sports journalist Stuart Hodge and former Norwich City winger Cedric Anselan, who's been doing the BBC Radio Norfolk duties as well. Cedric, what, what did you make of that afternoon? I mean, it, it's been such a strange 24 hours, hasn't it? It's been a very strange atmosphere at the club today, you know, uh, on the pitch, off the pitch. It just seems like uh, a pre-season game, you know, with no atmosphere at all, never really start until... You know, now we score, and even after that, it was really like poor quality. It's just, you know, enough there, we said, but, you know, show some great character to come back at 2 2. Yeah, we, we should touch on Mitchell Dyke's red card because Norwich had to play, well, 80 minutes, wasn't it, pretty much, with, with 10 men, and it was a shocking check, a tackle, and he's now going to miss three games. <laughs> Yeah, it's a costly one, to be fair. I think Alan Irvin described it quite well. I think he's trying to go in and then hook the ball, but Emnez has been quite cute. He's got the foot in there. Yeah, costly. And off the back of that, of course, lots of fans weren't very happy that Alex Pritchard was the man who made way. Alan Irvine probably didn't have much that he could do other, other than that, I suppose. He didn't have any choice. He was purely tactical. He was nothing against Pritchard's, uh, 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 you know, time on the pitch he just don't tactically uh, uh, change quickly he's, he's, you know he had, they had both two quality uh, uh, creativity players with Pritchard and Wes Sullivan, which he has to make a, um, a, div- a defensive uh, uh, tactic and he did and there's nothing wrong or nothing against uh, Pritchard at all and I say that as a man who thought he could have just played three at the back and left Alex on but maybe that's just being you know, wishful thinking in a way um, I don't know about wishful thinking, Michael. It was the right substitution. Wes Houlihan's more experienced for a situation like that. It was basically a straight-up swap between the two. It's an argument you could have gone for Murphy, but it was Murphy's dynamism and creativity that created the first goal. It was the right swap. And what we had, of course, was a situation where you know Norwich came from 2-1, 2-1 down with 10 men to equalise. They showed a lot of character and they went about their business pretty well in the end, even though the crowd weren't probably up for appreciating that so much uh, it's just hard to see where Norwich kind of go from here really isn't it Cedric it's a, it's a big week or two he was a massive you know uh, 24 hours and, and the next two weeks will be even more massive uh, I think that the, the board need to take their time in my opinion to to see where the club is going in, in, in the future uh, but again the, the players have a massive massive uh, need to look at uh, you know after themselves they, they, they have let down uh, the manager in my in my opinion uh, I would not say they are to blame for all but um, they need to have to look at them and, and perform at their best ability for the remaining nine games